I am uh, Charles Soaring Eagle. I am the uh, representative for the Abenakis of Mazisquick and related bands um, of Vermont. Uh, I'm here because uh, I want to expound upon uh, what the aspirations are of the Abenaki with Vermonters. Um, this has been a, uh, a subject which uh, hasn't been broached upon uh, a lot extensively within our media. Uh, and a lot of people do not understand or are wary of the, uh, uh, the history, the modern history up to this point. Um, I do want to make it clear once again that uh, Abenakis uh, do want to get along with Vermonters. Uh, we traditionally and historically always uh, have and uh, we want a better level of understanding with those around us. Uh, I would like to go through some uh, current history. Uh, as to what's going on and why. Um, I like to put things out there in a short timeline, that way people have an understanding of uh, what's going on. You can make your uh, own decisions uh, as to what you think is, uh, is best or fair here. Um, first of all, uh, I am Abenaki. Uh, I am a product of Manifest Destiny. Uh, I may carry myself as a uh, Caucasian white person. I may speak the language. I may have the mannerisms. I work within the uh, constraints of the systems uh, of government here. Uh, and to all appearances, I'm a normal person. Uh, but the way I think in terms of uh, family, extended family, my community, uh, I am Abenaki. My blood is Abenaki. This, has never um, been taken from me. It's been never taken uh, from my family or from uh, many other Abenaki families in my community. Um, it's something that uh, for a period of time we were supposed to be ashamed of. Uh, in my family growing up, um, uh, the uh, Abenakis were referred to as, oh, that's your um, drunken uncle or that's your crazy aunt or that's your silly grandmother. Um, these kinds of uh, um, stories and accolades um, concerning um, our culture and who we were. Um, we have a history of one of uh, um, assimilation to a degree. We want to fit in. Uh, we do not want our culture destroyed. Uh, that's something that uh, from our grandparents' time have taught us. Uh, to do with those around us, to get along with those around us, to share, uh, to share uh, life, to share um, what's natural in nature to all of us, um, to live. Um, it's nothing that I'm ashamed of. Uh, I want to continue with this. I want to uh, um, bring these uh, ideas and uh, aspirations of my culture to my children. And, and to pass this on. And this is the reason why I'm here tonight and I want to talk about these things. Um, I'll start with a, uh, a recent history of um, Abenakis and the state government here. Um, in 1973, the Boston Indian Commission, uh, basically a federal commission, uh, uh, empowered us uh, to set up uh, departments which were recognizable to the state and federal authorities. Uh, we have a, uh, a judiciary, tribal judiciary. Uh, we have a um, tribal council. Uh, we have a council of elders. And we have a chairperson, a leader. Uh, basically, the uh, checks and balances of government are inherent into those things. Um, and traditionally and historically, we have uh, worked with that. Uh, we've had a continuous tribal council and succession of leaders, chiefs, um, going back long before Samuel Dean Champlain came here and all the way up to this present, unbroken. Um, it's uh, a history that's uh, sometimes been hard, as any self-government for any people at times is difficult. Uh, but we have endured, and I think uh, we've become richer uh, through going through the processes of change and survival. Um, in the early 80s, um, uh, there, was a, uh, there was a time when uh, um, 
most people would say, oh, Abenakis, uh, what's that? Um, they were Indians, weren't they? Who are these people? Um, a few years before that, in 76, uh, then Governor Salmon um, knew who we were, uh, being of, uh, of Vermont himself. He uh, um, recognized uh, the fact of uh, what we have given as uh, citizens here of Vermont, what we have contributed, and recognized us as an executive order as a uh, uh, people. Uh, in the early 80s, we uh, tried to um, talk to the legislature even further about this um, uh, so that collectively as a people, we could strengthen our communities and take a uh, step forward to be who we, who we are as a people again publicly. Uh, what happened uh, there was, was that uh, we were shunned, um, ignored, uh, by legislative leaders and, and, and the governor. Um, in 1983, uh, we had a uh, um, fish in, uh, basically organized civil disobedience to uh, um, get the point across about our, uh, our civil rights and who we are. Uh, under uh, uh, treaty uh, with the uh, federal authorities, um, um, and state government as indigenous people, we do not, uh, under law, need to have a fishing or a hunting license. And because of the uh, inaction of the uh, legislature and uh, trying to uh, work with people and not getting through to them, we felt that we had to take it upon ourselves to have civil disobedience to bring this um, attention to us in order to get the legislative process moving in the right direction. Uh, we did that. Uh, in 1984, District Judge Mahady, uh, in his ruling, not only agreed with the Abenaki in who we were as a uh, ethnic minority people, uh, but in his last written paragraph on that order, stated that the Abenakis deserve better than the backhand from the state of Vermont and upheld our rights. Um, a year before that, uh, uh, Governor Snelling did give an executive order uh, recognizing us as uh, Aboriginal Indigenous peoples of Vermont, but stopping short of uh, wanting to talk about uh, our rights um, that go along with that. Uh, we went back to the governor and the legislative process once again, and once again it fell upon deaf ears. Uh, in 1987, we uh, felt that we had no choice but to continue uh, in our desired effort in civil disobedience once again, and there was a, uh, another fish in. Uh, at that time, in the next uh, um, judiciary of Vermont, the Superior Court, Judge Wolchek not only agreed uh, with the early di earlier district um, um, 1984 ruling in our favor, but went a step further and um, stated that uh, we also had uh, rights to um, litigate uh, land claims and reparations. Uh, our intention was, was to take that and again go to the legislature. Um, this isn't about ownership. This is about survival. This is about community. Again, uh, we feel that uh, uh, we were ignored. Um, a lot of promises. Over the years, there have been a few um, bills pertaining to Abenakis in the state legislature, but they've always uh, died in committee. Uh, very few have uh, ever been acted on. Uh, we went uh, uh, forth uh, with this process. Um, uh, at that time, uh, by 1990, uh, there was a change of governors. Uh, Governor Dean um, assumed office. And uh, uh, from my understanding, uh, along with the example of former Governor uh, Snelling, um, continued that uh, process uh, and also uh, told the uh, Attorney General Amistoy uh, to work on um, uh, legal litigation that would uh, um, make a decision um, to take care of this perceived problem. Uh, of a people who uh, are asking for their rights. 
Uh, that was a written brief uh, that came out of the uh, Attorney General's office that was called Elliot. Um, in 1991, uh, it was brought to the State Supreme Court by the Attorney General's office. It was uh, uh, litigated and argued under uh, Vermont public safety statute as if uh, Abenakis are a threat to uh, uh, the public of Vermont. That was, uh, that is what gave the brief permission to be argued in front of the state Supreme Court. Uh, it was listened to, uh, and the state Supreme Court, in their uh, wisdom and judgment, upheld it. Um, when they make such a decision under the Vermont Constitution, it is considered law, uh, law of the land, equal to whatever the legislature put out. Um, it's a way of formulating law without having to go through the legislative process. Thus, uh, no public hearings, um, uh, no oral um, discussion on this has, has really ever taken uh, much place at a public forum uh, concerning the legislature. Um, a famous line in it is, is, is that uh, by the weight of history, our aboriginal rights um, have been uh, taken from us, that we don't exist. Uh, this created a, a couple of problems um, uh, for the state. Uh, it's considered by many legal authorities as being very poorly written law to begin with. Um, I'm not uh, uh, here to um, um, personify uh, the people involved who made such a ruling on this, I don't suggest that these people are poor jurists who made this decision. In fact, they're learned people. Uh, a lot of them are experts in uh, certain uh, categories of law and certainly should be sitting on the bench. Uh, it's not that um, uh, I consider that these people are poor jurists, but I uh, do believe and consider that they are poor historians. And I think it's very bad precedent um, uh, to create such a law in such haste uh, and in a climate of fear to uh, um, take away the civil rights of a uh, minority group of people. Uh, I think this is something in uh, Vermont here at home that very few people understand or know about uh, uh, what happened. As an Aboriginal Abenaki, I cannot file court papers in any Vermont state court um, because Abenakis do not exist. If I show proof of identification that says I am Abenaki uh, and I present that to a voting poll, I cannot vote. Subsequently to such a ruling, uh, my rights, uh, civil rights, have been taken um, not only from me, but from a whole group of people who live here in Vermont. Uh, the problem that I have with this is uh, not only being Abenaki and what this means to me, but does this make it convenient uh, for a uh, government anytime they have a perceived problem to do this with any group? And I would hope that uh, uh, people who are listening and Vermonters here would take this into consideration as to exactly what this means. Uh, I don't think Abenakis are a threat. We uh, want to get along with Vermonters. Historically, traditionally, most of the time we have. We're not looking uh, to take things from Vermonters. We're not looking to disenfranchise people from their property or land. We are not looking to open up casinos. Um, we want to work with Vermonters. We do desire a homeland. We do want Abenakis to have community again. We want our culture to come back together. We want to, uh, um, to come to the surface just as any other group, minority or otherwise, in this state has that freedom to do so. Uh, we ask to do that again. Um, there are uh, other um, problems uh, with the Elliott uh, decision that it has done, too. Uh, in a way, in order to uh, um, say that our um, rights have been extinguished because of the weight of history. Um, it's a de facto uh, statement, one of a few in the Elliott brief, 
which uh, um, basically has given definition as to what a minority group is or, a, or an ethnic group or a group of people are. Under the 1964 Civil Rights Act and federal legislation, uh, this is totally against uh, federal civil rights law. Um, Vermont has a strong history of uh, liberty and freedom and unity. And uh, I believe that uh, when people understand what's going on here, uh, they will act in a positive uh, manner in working with us and in recognizing a wrong that has been made and in not wanting to do this to a, uh, our group, Abenakis, or to any other group. Um, this is something that we need to work on together. It's not a, a, a problem of just one people. This could encompass uh, uh, perhaps more uh, if we're perceived as problems uh, in the future. If other people uh, come along and have questions or try to legislate things, we should keep things on the up and up. Uh, we all hold our liberty close to us. Abenakis are not an exception to this. Um, we uh, also... Um, desire uh, in working with the state government and Vermonters, you know, we want a hand up, not a hand out. Uh, that is to say, uh, programs that would be beneficial um, to Abenakis, but in promotion uh, for small business, for education, for things that eventually will give back to the community, uh, that we can share with Vermonters, so that we can um, be part of uh, the system here. Uh, we have no problem with uh, uh, businesses that generate uh, monies that uh, could help state revenue. Uh, this isn't an us versus them situation. This is one of survival. And in order to play in the game, you have to get there first. And I think it's very unfair uh, for the state government uh, to have enacted such a uh, law that they've had and to have um, been a political football uh, for the last 20 years between governors and the legislature. I think it's time for change. I think it's time to be a consideration of uh, what's going on, what we can do. Um, uh, we shouldn't be perceived as a threat. Uh, in the past, I've heard, well, all they want is uh, casino gambling. Well, the United States uh, Supreme Court in June made its uh, ruling um, considering what uh, recognized indigenous nations uh, uh, can do in court with state governments. Uh, every time uh, Abenakis ask for uh, their rights, we're tagged with something like that to try and put down the rest of the question of civil rights the past history, uh, and I think that's, uh, uh, that's an evil that must stop. You cannot use one subject to put down the civil rights of a whole people. Um, we consider ourselves uh, dual citizens. Uh, we're Abenaki, we're Vermonters, we're United States citizens. Uh, like uh, any group around us, uh, we have worked uh, with state government, federal government. We've served in the armed forces. Uh, we're probably uh, people who live in your communities. Uh, there are uh, about four major Abenaki groups throughout the state of Vermont. Um, we've become more organized, especially in the last 10, 15 years. And maybe this is what... Uh, um, um, put the fear, or at least put the fodder for fear against us. Um, we do desire our right uh, to return back to the land, and we want to find ways to work with the legislature to do this. Uh, we recognize reality for what it is. This is not pristine Vermont anymore. Uh, it's been clear-cut four times since uh, um, settlement uh, over the last 200 years. Uh, we live with many peoples, uh, and we uh, have become enriched by that. 
and we want to continue uh, with living with our neighbors, our Vermonters around us, and uh, being part of this community. Uh, but we are here. We are organized. Uh, uh, on the state level, uh, even though Abenakis are not supposed to exist, um, there's a governor's uh, commission on uh, Indian affairs. And uh, it seems to me that uh, every time there's a uh, talk or a chance about a federal program that has monies involved, all of a sudden uh, we're Indians. Yeah, there's Abenakis here. Uh, but as soon as we start talking about civil rights or the needs of the Abenakis, all of a sudden we're nobody. I, I think the state uh, government has had it uh, both ways for too long. Uh, this is a form of, uh, re of oppression. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, may be subtle. Uh, pogroms haven't been uh, committed against us in a couple of hundred years. We're not doing that to other people. But I see this as a, as a mentality that's uh, pervasive uh, to keeping us so-called in our place as who we are. And uh, it, it's something that, that should be looked at. Uh, because if somebody can, uh, can write a brief, have it argued successfully, and it become law, who's next? Um, we're not through with this. Um, we're still struggling with this. We're still struggling with sometimes our identity of who we are today. We have intertribal politics. We don't always agree. Um, we are not of uh, uh, Masiskoi. Uh, I am not of uh, Homer St. Francis's group, and I must point out that uh, um, he has brought a lot of attentions to Abenakis. There were many times when people wanted to write us off as a people. He was a light in the wilderness. You may not agree with him. Um, some of his um, statements may be antagonistic, but he kept um, people thinking about Abenakis. He kept our aspirations alive. Uh, I do not agree uh, uh, with the Masiskoi uh, people uh, or Homer St. Francis and their politics, but I honor and respect him for what he's uh, um, done uh, for Abenakis. And I think we should uh, take a step further from that and start working positively instead of having um, uh, the news media come out with these uh, short stories about what the Abenakis are up to now. Uh, we have done a lot of good things. We have our own health care clinic. Uh, our, we have had over 500 Abenaki uh, children in the Missisquoi Franklin County School District uh, being taught our language and our culture again. Uh, many good things have uh, come of this. Uh, People are taking pride once again in who they are. Uh, it wasn't long ago uh, when if you went out and said you were Abenaki, uh, maybe it was hard to get some housing. Maybe it was hard to get that job that was down the street. You know, racism is a subtle thing here. People don't want to talk about it. It's generally ignored. They don't call us uh, a slur to our face. It may be something else. It may be uh, uh, you're overqualified for this job, or I'm sorry, we don't accept that kind of insurance. A lot of the things that we've had to do were born out of negative situations. It's time not to play on that, but to work positively forward. And that's what we desire to do. Uh, I understand, um, I believe it's Senator Kane from Rutland County, um, they want to uh, reorganize the uh, Governor's uh, Commission on Indian Affairs, and uh, they want to uh, proportion uh, the membership on the commission. Maybe this is a good thing. I don't, I'm not certain of it. Um, I would like to know um, what the governor thinks of this what his intention is behind it. Um, I would like to see this as a uh, vehicle 
four Vermonters and Abenakis to work out our differences together. Um, I've worked hard uh, the last few years on the uh, state level first. And a few years ago, um, there was uh, a lot of talk about Abenakis being involved in um, uh, gambling again, the bingo hall out there in Colchester. Uh, I don't understand um, if the VFW has bingo, uh, it doesn't make headlines. Uh, annually, uh, the VFW post in Springfield, Vermont, uh, makes around $300,000 in bingo revenue, which is uh, tax free being a nonprofit organization. Um, and I believe most of that money is sent back to the community and it, it is spent wisely. But if groups like that are allowed to do that, what's wrong with the Abenakis doing that? The reason why we uh, tried to uh, have bingo was, was that a year before that we had opened a uh, free health care clinic uh, up in um, Swanton, Vermont. And it's not a closed clinic. You don't have to be Abenaki or indigenous. You can be Vermonter, or you can be an international citizen um, to go there. The uh, um, reality is, is that to run any kind of medical clinic, it takes supplies, people to man it. Um, it costs money. So how are we going to uh, um, do this? Uh, we chose, we thought maybe that uh, if we uh, played uh, bingo to raise such revenue, we would be just like the VFW or the church group down the street. This is what we were hoping to do. We were hoping to, to help ourselves and help other people around us. Abenakis have a history and a tradition of doing this. We've had our own food shelf. We have, our, we have an unemployment office that we try to uh, um, match people to the jobs. We've done all these things over the years. We've worked with the county and state government at times to help fulfill these things. And we want to continue doing this. Um, it's been um, uh, a while uh, since I've uh, heard any uh, positive review about uh, Abenakis. We appreciate um, the citizens of Vermont and the state uh, government in returning um, our ancestors to us for a reburial. I think that was timely and appropriate. Um, and we're glad that that was done. Uh, we wish that we can work out a situation in, in the future uh, where uh, things don't have to be lengthy arguments. It took eight years for that process. You know, what we need to define is bridges to work between us, and uh, that is part of what I'm doing. That's uh, as representative for Abenakis. That's what I've uh, always been trying to do. Um, in January of this year, I was uh, in Washington D.C. Um, it was during that uh, great blizzard that they had down there. They called it a blizzard. Reminded me of home, anyway. Um, uh, I had favor to speak with uh, people on the uh, Indian Affairs Committee, a subcommittee of the uh, United States Senate. And uh, they didn't ask me to talk with them necessarily because I'm Abenaki uh, or because of who I am. But they knew that this uh, question about uh, casino gambling was going to come up. And what they wanted to hear was from a totally different part of the country, from a different indigenous group, about how they felt a situation like this should be dealt with. In other words, they wanted to hear from indigenous people, what's the fair thing to do here? And um, I went and I testified, and the words that I um, uh, used were ones that were not promotional of uh, those kinds of industries. Personally, myself, I, I uh, don't favor any kind of uh, uh, casino gambling. 
I don't gamble myself. I don't even uh, I don't even favor lottery tickets, and they don't say that's gambling, but in my eyes it is. Um, uh, I, I, th I see a lot of hardships coming uh, from such an industry, something that we don't need. Uh, and then you need a guard to watch the guard, all that revenue. I think the thing is to look at it is, is um, the federal uh, government and not desiring um, uh, this kind of industry and, and wanting to, to take that away from indigenous people uh, is their decision. That is the right of the federal government. But in empowering state governments um, to do these things, um, I think they should look at not what they're taking away, but what are they going to put in the place of it. Uh, two years ago, I wrote a program called um, uh, Massiscoy Development um, Program. And what it was, was it, it was a, uh, an idea uh, that went along the lines as if Abenakis were recognized as Aboriginal ind Indigenous people here in Vermont. Uh, last year, $28 million in um, minority contracts uh, were given out here in the state of Vermont. Uh, those companies involved, two in particular, uh, are not based in Vermont. The only revenues that were collected from that were off payroll for the people who were hired here in this state. The bulk of the uh, money as business was paid in another state. Uh, what I'm suggesting with the state legislature is, is if they would uh, um, um, support the first people, support Abenakis and support our civil rights, let's create this level of business together where we um, can solicit contracts as a minority here within the state of Vermont. Being a homegrown business here, it can be taxed here as a home business. And maybe a lot of that money can be, can be put back in the state uh, coffers and into Vermont's revenue. Uh, I think ideas like this are win-win propositions. And I think this is what uh, we need to start looking at and working on. Not, not this argument of do we exist or not, or do we deserve our civil rights or not. We need to go beyond this. Um, the future looks promising. I hope the legislature um, uh, does want to listen and work with us. We want that. We want to get along with the state government and Vermonters. But given the history that we've had here and working with the state government, I don't think we can sit on our hands. And I don't say this um, uh, as a threat, and I don't say this uh, in taking light. But I believe that uh, at this point, um, Abenakis are prepared to uh, go back to the land even if it means raising money, purchasing our own land, bringing Abenakis back to the land, and collectively being a community again. We don't need the state governments or other people's uh, permission to exist. We've always been here. We've always had this right. It was not given to us. Uh, I see this happening in the, in the near future. Um, perhaps if the legislature um, decides not to act, there will become a point when they will have to act because being landowners, we will be in the common law system of which uh, Vermont law is based upon and we will have to be listened to. Um, and if it comes to that point, maybe we can work out agreements uh, for a homeland. I'd rather work with Vermonters with the state government, but it's been long enough. I think that uh, um, uh, I'd like to see my children have a place that uh, uh, they know is friendly, they know is home, uh, a place that I can uh, look at and I know it's home. Uh, I think this is the fair and the right thing to do. Uh, I'd ask um, you out there, 
to uh, talk to your representatives, talk to your state senators, call the governor's office, ask them to, uh, um, uh, to work with us because we want to work with Vermonters. We don't want more than what Vermonters have or are, but we do want our civil rights. We do want to have our culture again on the surface. And I just ask you to consider that. Working together, I think, is the best possible way to do this. Uh, I want to thank uh, Channel 17 and uh, for this opportunity here to speak tonight. We're taking positive steps forward, and uh, it's the right thing uh, to do. Um, there are many other instances and legal uh, arguments uh, that we can talk about, but at this time I don't want to go into them. Uh, I hope this most recent uh, uh, timeline of uh, history here is informative to some people. And if you don't agree with me, at least I hope you think about it, um, because it could affect you also in the future. Um, and I just want to bring that uh, up to people's awareness. Uh, thanks for this opportunity.